Oh my god, no. So you wanna go and walk? <laughs> Alright YouTube, let's do this. We're gonna cook some more food and we're gonna smoke some more weed, baby. Let's go. What's up everybody, Tim from Jim Tana. We're back with another cooking video. As you can see, we're in the kitchen. Tonight we're doing rosemary demi-glazed pork chops, mashed potatoes, and then we're gonna roast some carrots and some red onions. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it as well. Uh, and then after the video, you know, maybe during too, you know, we're gonna find out. I got a little rosin pen in my pocket. Cheers, you guys, if you're smoking along while you're watching this. Let's get to cooking. All right, so we got the ingredients out here, guys. Uh, simple, all right, this is super simple. You guys can replicate this at home, easy. All right, carrots, rosemary. You might need to make this demi-glaze sauce that I happen to have in a packet, all right? You figure that out on your own. I'll read you the ingredients real quick though. Um, let's go, tomato, onions, carrots, celery, wine, sugar, cream, salt, chicken stock, chicken fat, yeast extract, boom. This is sour cream. This is an onion, I think it's a red one. These are potatoes, all right? Easy. You can use any potato. I'm told these are the better ones to you, the Yukon Gold. If you're mashing, these are the ones. I don't really know why. These are the ones, okay? Russets, not allowed. Don't use them. Right, this rosemary looks like it's on steroids. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. I don't know if you guys can tell if you just look at rosemary, but it, this looks like it's, it's somebody's been using. I don't know if it's authorized, but it is aggressive. It smells good though. Smell it, smell it. Thank you. All right, let's turn this into uh, to some food. Carrots up first, we gotta peel them, chop them. Same with the onion. Um, and then we're gonna put those in the oven, roast them, make the mashed potatoes. Um, and then I also got a little bit, uh, what is it? And then we got the pork chops as well that I completely forgot about. So let's do this, man, let's make some food. So we're gonna get these carrots in there roasting. And then once they're in there roasting with the onion, we'll start cooking those uh, potatoes and the pork chops. Let's get rocking. So to cut this into wedges, let's peel this off real quick. We've got our nice pretty little onion. Let's half it, for it. That'll work. Now we're gonna toss these lightly with some olive oil, a little salt and pepper, throw them on a, uh, a little baking sheet, and uh, these will be off and rocking, man. These will be rolling. All right, we got a little olive oil on here. Let's go ahead and toss these bad boys. Go on that side, bang, bang, bang. You love to see it. These carrots. This is easy to do at home, guys. Super simple, nothing complicated about this. We're slicing carrots and onions and throwing them on a baking sheet, all right? You could easily do this. This is not some like five-star Michelin meal. You need all the experience in the world. Nah, man, you guys, you guys got this at home. You can do this while smoking a joint. You can do this while ripping a bong. I'm gonna go take a dab in a second because that's how simple this is. All right, salt and peppered. Those are rocking. Let's toss those in the oven. 425. Time to get a little roasted. Let's go. <laughs> While those carrots and uh, onions roast, we're gonna boil this water. It's already starting to go. We got some salted water. And uh, we're gonna toss in the Yukon Golds, baby. So let's get those cut up. You can peel them if you would like, but it's not necessary. Whoa, 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 slow down there, camera. Don't you fall, it got a little weird. Don't have to peel them, smoother consistency if you do peel them. I'm not gonna peel them, Jana peels them. I'm not peeling them, I'm gonna wash them off. We're gonna dice them up, we're gonna mash them. Let's keep rocking. All right, let's get all these potatoes cut. We need them to be cooked. Potatoes. Let's get them in. Be careful when you're loading them in. Perfect. That's right, so what we're gonna do right now is pat dry these pork chops so we can get this uh, salt and pepper to really stick to it. Getting the extra moisture off there. Get the sides. All right, let's get them salt and peppered. All right, let's get some uh, some olive oil on here. The potatoes are potatoing, and uh, we'll give this a little stir. Those are doing potato things. Olive oil on here. All right, we'll let that olive oil warm up. We'll get these pork chops in there. Let's check the carrots. Nice, perfect time in the video. If you wanna take a little rip right now, we're about halfway done cooking. <sighs> Big cheers, everybody. I appreciate you guys watching. Let's eat some good food. Let's have a little sesh.
rosemary, demi glazed pork chops, mashed potatoes, roasted carrots, and onions. Whew, we're almost there. One more rip. Get here the olive oil. Let's get back to it. Pork chops. The sizzle. We'll get you guys in here closer to the sizzle too. All right, let's chop this rosemary up while uh, potatoes are potatoing and pork chops are pork chops. I did put a towel underneath here like some people suggest because the cutting board is getting a little crazy. Technique for chopping rosemary, anybody? Please, hopefully I didn't burn them. Ah, it's not that bad. Fuck, I like that. I like that. Some good color on there. Nice. Nice. Those actually look proper. I'm going to lie, I almost forgot about this, but that's no good. All right, food's all come together, guys. All right, smash it up, mix it together. That was a big chunk of butter. <laughs> oh my God, no. No, there's potatoes everywhere. All right, we cleaned the pan. The pork chops are sitting. They are done. They reached temp. Now we're going to make this a little bit of sauce. The rosemary. Ow, fresh rosemary. And then uh, not so fresh, we got the demi-glaze uh, concentrate right here. I read the ingredients in the beginning. If you want to make it yourself, Google recipes, easy peasy. We're going the easy route today. Come on. Let this cool down a little bit. Let that pan get a little hot. You can see it's smoking slightly. I don't want to burn the rosemary. Let's go ahead and put the, the demi-glaze concentrate in there first and maybe cool it down. Yeah, that bitch is way too warm for that rosemary. This fresh rosemary in there. Delicious. Let's not let it burn. Super simple, nothing crazy. We're gonna add a little bit of water to this. We can help it cook in there, cook down. It's burning. All right, the sauce is gonna be nice and warm. The rosemary is gonna be a little softer. Pork chops are good. Mash is ready to rock. All right, let's grab these carrots too. Check it out, fam. We got mashed potatoes. We got our veg with red onions, carrots. We got a demi-glazed rosemary. And we got uh, pork chops. Let's put it on a plate, make it look pretty, and get a thumbnail. Food time, let's go. Holy shit, was that good? Jana was saying, the entire time she's been eating. It's one of her favorite ones that we've made. It is quite delicious. It's time to take some dabs, baby. Let's rock. Mm, I'm ready to smoke. How about you? Oh man, let's go take a dab, baby. I'm ready. Drop a comment in the video right now if you're ready to take a couple dabs with me. Let's do this. Let's drop a nail on here and take a couple dabs, man. I'm just ready to smoke. I'm gonna smoke some of this uh, peanut butter breath from Punch Extracts. Might have seen it in a, a one dab review. Pretty tasty stuff. It's definitely, um, it was fresh. Fresh press, you guys know how I feel about the fresh press stuff. I prefer a cold cure batter, but it's still good stuff, man. The fragrant, fragrant nose that it has on here is ridiculous. I should probably turn this light on, huh? Shit, y'all can't see nothing. Check that out though. It's just a little bit dry. It does look like it got a little shine to it though. It looks nice. Mm, it looks like it got more, more moist. That looks way more wet. Did, did something drop in there? I hope something didn't drop in there. I hope something didn't drop in there. I'm like super sus now, cause it was not this wet. <laughs> Fuck. Guess we'll find out. We got the glizzy pearl in here. I don't know if you guys can see it's a little hot dog. Look at that little guy. Glizzies, baby. We have really cool turp pearls. Jimtana.com. Here's a little ad, a little shill for you guys. Jimtana.com. It's our website. That's really my wife's business. She runs the, the entire thing. Ships all the orders, writes all the notes. But we have a bunch of quartz nails. We have a lot of smoking accessories, a lot of dab tools, a lot of turp pearls. But then again, we got her awesome art. As you can see on our wall right here, we got some dope ass stuff that she makes. Same with uh, that one over there, the clock. JimTana.com, check it out. It supports us, it supports our family. We appreciate it like more than we can explain. It helps us out so much. Thank you guys, let's take the step. This video is brought to you by Jim Tana. All right, hopefully nothing spilled on this rosin because it just looks so wet. I'm like, I'm like confused. I already know it's gonna sizzle because something for sure got in here. I'm so sus right now. No, it didn't sizzle. I don't know what's going on. Cheers, you guys. <laughs> Where's my other cap? 
The glizzy is stuck. I don't know what's happening with the glizzy. The glizzy's not glizzying, guys. We need another dab. That dab was scuffed. Dab number two, let's do this. All right, we're cooling down on the second dab. Hopefully it's a better one. We're smoking the uh, punch extracts, peanut butter breath. I don't know what happened, but it got mad moist. This shit was dry as fuck the other day. It sweated the terps out, man. It just sweated the terps out because this shit just looks amazing now. It's literally perfect. The texture is unreal. Let's take a little globby to end this off, man. You guys are amazing, dude. Let's get this sesh pumping. Big glob. Like and subscribe if you want big globs. This joint has been sitting on here since we did our last pre-roll video. Probably been like a month, maybe two months. Would you smoke it? It's just been sitting out here. Maybe got some dirt on it, possibly a hair or two. Let me know in the comments if you would smoke this, uh, the desk joint. We'll call it the desk joint. All right, cheers, you guys. This might be a hot dab, might be a cold dab. Let's find out together. It is a warm dab. Fuck. Cheers, you guys. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching the vlogs. More cooking, more cannabis, more education, more Jim Tana. Peace.